August 23rd and I'm out here at one of our properties where we just moved my deer hunting blind and we put a bigger one back where I usually gun hunt and it's in a good spot right off of a bedding area if you've been watching my hunts you've seen me in that blind where um, I missed I had a arrow malfunction on my crossbow when I took a crack at that buck last fall so that blind has always been a little bit tight you really can't hunt two people in there I was able to get away with it when my son was a, a little guy but um, now that he's 16 years old it really doesn't work for two people and it's even kind of tight for one person really um, so we took that smaller blind out of there and we used the tractor to put a much larger one back here so what I'm doing today is I'm going back here to put some see-through camo on the windows because this blind is right off of a bedding area and it's always good for about one or two bucks every year really nice bucks usually and uh, if they're coming in there in those tight quarters they're used to seeing the blind and there goes a doe right there driving down in here I saw two really nice bucks get kicked up off the cornfield out there on the edge of the property so that was good to see but anyways um, when there's deer back in here they're used to seeing the blind and they're used to looking up to see if they see any movement in the windows so hopefully with this camo um, cover that it's typically it's kind of like the same stuff that guys can put on the back windows of their pickup trucks where you can see through but people can't really see in so I'm hoping that'll work we'll see so check out the process with me and see how it works so here's the blind right here yesterday we actually deployed uh, cutty backs we got four new cutty link cutty backs with the solar panel kits and we put those out yesterday so those have all been deployed on this property so that's great here's the new stand that I just showed you as I walked up on it and then also back here I also dug in a little pond for lack of a better word for the deer to drink out of and it's still got some water in it I'm gonna set up a video camera right here to see what's been coming in if anything to drink out of it and uh, see how that is working out as well so that's right off of here turn back around there's the the blind I've never actually bow hunted back here either but I've been wanting to put a bow stand back here for a couple of years now and a few months ago I actually just put up a really high bow stand right up there as well um, so I'm gonna be bow hunting back here as well I actually got it high enough to be able to see over the top of this box blind as well and I can see down four different lanes that we have cut out here years ago when we put this blind when we put a blind back here to begin with so um, there's a little bit of everything back here really so yeah a lot of moving parts back here um, the cutty link cutty back cell cameras are amazing you know they're literally maintenance free when you have a solar panel kit attached to them to power them they're a little bit of work to get them deployed but if you're used to using cutty back cameras um, it's not too bad so uh, I got a mineral block back here on this one cut that you saw I got this little pond over here that you saw 
we got the cameras. I'm going to put a video camera on the pond today and then I'm going to cut out the camo for the windows and see how that works. So I'll keep you updated and let's see how this goes. Let me know if you can see me or not. Well, that concludes that project. It wasn't too hard and it was relatively inexpensive. Um, I found that mesh camel fabric on Amazon and I want to say it was like 50 bucks and I bought two rolls of it. I used just over one roll on this one stand. The windows were relatively large. Um, they were about 18 inches by 26. But when I look back at it, um, I really can't see anything through those windows. But when you're inside, you can see everything. It's just a little bit dimmer than if the mesh was not on there. So I think it's well worth it. Um, like I said earlier, when I'm back here, the deer know that that blind is there. They've, you know, if they can smell you, that's one thing. But if they can't see you, um, at least I'm eliminating that from the equation. And um, it's been quite a few times when I've been picked out in that stand. So you feel kind of like you're on display. The deer are going to get used to it, they're going to feel more comfortable, and then they really can't see in there now. So I'm happy I did this project. It's one more thing to cross off my to-do list before the season opener. And I know everybody is getting really gung-ho. Bow season here in Wisconsin opens up in uh, exactly three weeks. So I'm getting excited. Um, uh, I was happy to knock this out before, so I'm not screwing around in here when um, people are out hunting and I want to be I don't want to be disturbing the deer so um, I'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching and uh, remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and uh, yeah get ready for season it's coming soon <laughs>